guys, it's Sweetney. I am going to be doing an empties video for you guys. I've been saving this for about two months. Um, and here is all of my trash. So, this is just products that I've used up that um, I'm just going to tell you if I liked them or not. Not a big deal. I'm sorry, my voice is still not back to normal from when I was sick. So, I might be grabbing me some water. So, sorry. Okay. First off. I have the Bedhead Urban Antidotes in Recovery, the shampoo and the conditioner. I love this stuff. It smells super great. It makes my hair feel silky smooth. I love it. I will repurchase it. I have already repurchased it and it's in my shower right now. I went through an EOS shave cream in the Vanilla Bliss. I absolutely Love, love, love this stuff right here. Already bought me two more bottles. I went through a Johnson's 24-hour moisturizing wash. I used this a couple of times in the shower. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way that it lathered. It lathered weird to me. Anyway, so I started using this as a um, brush cleaner. Um, and that's how I finished using it up was for my brushes. Okay, I went through the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash. I love this stuff, but I did not repurchase it because I went back on my Proactive. So, if I do ever go off the Proactive, this is normally what I go to. Um, I went through, let's see, two deodorants. This one's my favorite, The Secret. I did not like this because you could smell this all day and I did not like that. I have repurchased The Secret in the Cocoa Butter. Um, I went through my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in the color Fresh Beige. I loved it so much that I scraped the bottle with my Q-tip. This is what I always use every time that I buy makeup. I love it. It's full coverage and it makes, stays all day. I, I love it. So I will repurchase this as soon as I get through my Rimmel. I really don't like that Rimmel as much as I do this. But I'll be going back to my trusty Neutrogena. This is my Holy Grail product right here. God, my voice is just cracky cracky. I feel really weird. It's like 9 o'clock at night. I worked all day and I had to talk a lot at my job. So, you know, in the salon you're talking anyway. So, I just really like feel like my voice is gone. But I'm sorry if I'm annoying. Okay, this is my Olay Quench Lotion. Let me just tell you. I had a love-hate relationship with this because at the beginning when I bought this bottle, I loved the smell. By the end, it made me sick. Um, so that's when I stopped using it. I've got about that much left in the bottom. Can't handle it. Um, I've also got this Victoria's Secret Shower Gel in the flavor Honeysuckle Bell. I did not like this. It did not lather really well. So what I did was I went and I put it beside the sink in the bathroom. And I washed my hands with it. So this ended up being a hand soap. Okay, this is the Caress Daily Silk Shower Gel. I liked this. The problem is, it's so big. It is 18 ounces. So, by the time I get down to, like, right in here somewhere, I'm so sick of this shower gel that I you normally go buy another one. So, normally I have, like, four or five shower gels in the shower, but I just decided I was going to use this one up. So I was so proud of myself for using a whole bottle of shower gel. I will not repurchase this just because I get so sick of them that I just have to rotate them out. Let's see. I went through one, two, three, four of the simple cleansing wipes. I bought one in the oil balancing. I did not like this. It was not as moist. Um, and these were awesome. Already repurchased them. Love them. Let's see. I've got some little packets of masks. This is the charcoal and black sugar. Hated, hated, 
hated this. It was awful. When I put it on my face, it didn't even go on good. It like splotched up. I was sticky. My arms were sticky when I washed it. It was awful. Never again will I buy this. Don't buy this, guys. It's horrible. Um, I bought the purifying clay mask. This one was from Walmart. The other one was from Walmart. This right here dries on your face and it makes you... I hate the mask that dries and it cracks on your face. I hate that. This one does dry, so. Hey, Sasha. Stop, baby. Okay, I've got a... Two of the Purifying Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. These are my favorite. These are actually my favorite. To me, these clean out my pores, minimize my pores. I love these. I wish they sold a big bottle of this, but then I wouldn't have to buy the little packages. Stop it. Stop. You're ruining my video. Okay. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Get up here. Come on. She's been so itchy lately. She's got allergies. Okay. This is my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I use this as a detangler. That's it. I don't use it as a leave-in conditioner. It's too light. I need something heavy on my hair. Okay. I went through a Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I use this in my hair before I blow dry. It cuts down on blow dry time. I love this stuff. I've already repurchased it. Okay. I did not get all the way through this because I hated it. It was the Wella Thermal Protector. It was so bad. Oh, God. It made my hair feel like straw after I flat ironed my hair. It was horrible. Hated this. Okay, I've got a Moroccan oil. I just think this is the bomb deity. Oh, I love it. It smells so good. Makes my hair so silky smooth. I actually love the whole line of this. The shampoo and conditioner and the deep conditioner and then this. Oh, your hair looks so awesome. But it's just way too expensive. I might repurchase this if I had like tons of extra money. But I won't be repurchasing that anytime soon. I went through my Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser, Dark Spot Eraser. Let me tell you, I got this too dark. Um, I love this. I will repurchase it. I'm just going to repurchase it in the light, not the medium. I went through two of my CoverGirl loose powders. This is my Holy Grail product right here. I love it. Okay, I've got a... This is another Holy Grail product. It is my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. I think this stuff right here... Oh, God, I love it. I bought some um, Ulta brand with the, you know, the thing that comes up like this. The self-sharpening. That's what it's called. Um, it doesn't stay as long as the Rimmel. And it was more expensive. So, to me, I'm a drugstore product girl. I buy everything at Walmart, Target, Walgreens. I'm not going to pay big prices for makeup. Um, so, you know... This was awesome. Go buy that. Go buy that now because it is great. Okay. I went through a clear is mud mud mask. Comes in this little nifty little thing here. It's got four in there. I love this stuff. I went, it was $5.49 at TJ Maxx. I went to purchase me some more. They didn't have any more. So I'm gonna have to order me some online because this stuff right here was the snot. Okay. I went through two boxes of my contacts. Not exciting. I went through a tiny little contact solution. Pure Moist. This was what I got from the eye doctor. A sample. And I bought the Walmart brand. I, it hurts my eyes. I can't use it. So I give it to my aunt because she uses it. But um, I had to buy the... Um, this by 
I don't know who even it's by, but I bought the big one and this one with for the allergies, and this it was good on my eyes. I wear contacts every day of my life, so you know you had to buy the good stuff for your eyes because if not, you're gonna be miserable all day long with that itchiness, you know, that comes from contacts. So I didn't. Oh well. Anyway. So, the, I went through a, a Bengay Zero Degrees. I popped this in the freezer. I don't know um, what I do without my Bengay. I know I'm an old woman. But I have been, I've had two back surgeries. So, by the end of the day at the salon, when I work all day at the salon, I need me some Bengay. So, <laughs> whenever I go and lay down, I put it on my back. It feels good, you know. If you've ever had back surgery, you understand what I mean. It just hurts some days. So, this stuff right here, if you need something to help your achy body, you go buy you some of this and put it in the freezer. Okay. I went through a big Silky Touch Shavers. Not exciting. This, this trash is not exciting. Um, I went through a NYX retractable eyeliner and like I said my favorite one is the Rimmel so I'm not going to be buying this again I think the reason I bought that NYX was because Walmart was out of Rimmel because they never hardly keep my eyeliner in so when I went to Target I bought that NYX because it looked about the same but I went through a classic candle in the flavor Georgia Peach I love these. These little candles right here, the classic candles, um, everyone sells these as fundraisers around here um, in Alabama. I don't know if they do that where you live, but where I live, they have fundraisers, and this is the candles they sell. They smell your, they make your house smell so good. You can light one of these, and it smells my whole house, and it's not like an overwhelming smell. It's just a nice thick smell. Does that make sense? I don't know. But, um, no, these are only sold in Alabama. In Alexandria, Alabama. But, um, here's the information. Just pause that because I'm not going to hold it up. You need to go online and order you some of these. You'll love them. I promise. You'll love them. Uh, went through this tranquil hmm, this tranquil garden spa for my scentsies. I'm never buying the Better Home and Garden Scentsy Bars again. They're like the Scentsy Bars because they don't smell as good as the Scentsies. They don't last as long. They, I just won't buy them. I will buy the Scentsy brand all the way. And my favorite Scentsy is the um, Skinny Dippin'. But right now it's kind of off season for skinny dipping, so I'm actually I just and I just looked the other day. I didn't order any, but I looked um, for the um, Christmas cottage. I love that, and um, that's what I'm gonna buy the next time. So even though it is fall, it's still got that cinnamony smell that I just love. And then after Christmas, I'll go back to my skinny dipping because I love it. I've got a art decorator thingy-majig. What's it called? This is from LA Colors. I get these at Dollar General for a dollar. The only thing is the brush kind of gets weird after you've had it a while. So the product is not out, but I'm going to have to throw it away because of the brush. I buy these at Dollar General. They're a dollar at the Dollar General. And these are awesome. They're just as good as the kind you buy at the beauty supply store. I love them. I went through, I didn't go through this. This was OPI and it was in the color White Shatter. Um, this actually was a shatter color. And I had gotten into this kick where I loved the shatters um, by OPI. You know, when you color your nail and then you put the black, white, whatever over it and it crackles so it looks like. I don't know. I was just really into that at one point, and I'm not into that anymore. And I was going through my nail polish, 
and it's all dried up and grossy gross so it's going in the trash and last product is my Mary Kay ultimate mascara I did not like this I will not be repurchasing this it had my favorite kind of bristle brush but the formula was horrible I will not be purchasing this again and that is all for my empties, my products I've used up, my trash, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start it over today, which is November the 1st. So I'm going to try to do these every month so I won't have a big giant bag of stuff to go through. So um, if you liked any of these products, um, you can message me down below or leave a comment or whatever if you have a question about anything and I will do my best to get back to you. And, um, if you like an empties video, thumbs up. Because I love them. I just get on YouTube and I, like, put in empties. And I will just, like, spend a whole hour watching some empties videos. So, I love these videos. And, um, I just want to thank you guys for watching who all watches my videos. Because I really enjoy doing these videos. So, thank you so much for watching. And um, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.